Hi everyone, nice to meet you. My name is John and I'm the creator of Kale and Cupcakes. I am on Facebook as Kale and Cupcakes and on Instagram at Amino Wellness. So I'm really excited to be here with you to start my day one of my 365 vlogs that I plan to do. So I am recommitting myself to my health and wellness journey in 2018. Um, I've had a big battle with weight over the course of the past, say, six years. In 2012, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, that spurred me to move forward and to realize my true potential to lose weight and get my health back on order. Um, by the end of 2012, I had enrolled in a um, nutrition program in college. Uh, 2014, I graduated the diploma and I decided to become a Zumba fitness instructor. Um, I'm also now a plate by Zumba coach. I've been through a struggle and in the last year, I'd say year and a half, I've really fallen off the wagon and tried to commit and failed. And I think I need a sense of accountability and I need a place to talk to you about the issues and things surrounding weight loss and health and wellness and allow you guys to be a part of this journey with me. I think having other people who may not know every bit about your backstory can offer a bit of support and um, challenge me. And I want to bring you guys along on that journey. So it's interesting because I know what healthy eating looks like. I've used that to help inspire other people to eat healthier. And the fact that I haven't been able to do that with myself shows that I've got a lot of issues that I need to work on. And what's great about it is my husband and I, we have a um, professional clinical counselor who we use to go see to help handle a lot of the issues behind the scenes so that we can work on ourselves and build ourselves up so we can focus better on the healthy eating and the exercise. So today has been amazing for my first day in 2018. Um, I got this awesome Breathe journal from Chapters in Canada. I'm not sure where you can get it if you're in the States. It's actually printed in the UK, so maybe you can find it in the UK. Um, but it's an amazing uh, calendar slash reflection journal that you can use to create a 52-week plan, a plan for every month, and a reflection of your week and a plan for your week. So I use it to track gym workouts, to put mine and my husband's work schedules and our appointments in there, and it allows me to track my protein, my fiber, my fruits and vegetable intake for the days, and also to reflect on my week and to know what I've been doing well, what I need to work on, et cetera, et cetera, and be more in tune with myself. I've got some really great big goals this year. I want to focus on going to the gym right now for this month of Ju January, uh, four times a week minimum, about 45 minutes for each session. That way I'm not overdoing it, but I'm not underdoing it and just doing once a week. I think I need a challenge but I don't want a challenge that's going to be so huge so that I won't be able to overcome it. Because remember, goals need to be smart, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-oriented. I also want to focus on my eating and making sure that I'm having a healthy breakfast every day, a healthy lunch and dinner, and reasonable snacks that are calorie-controlled, but they're things that I love and enjoy, and that have good protein, good fiber, and that I'm getting lots of fruits and vegetables into my diet. So it's really great. So today has been a success for me. I had a really nice turkey bacon high fiber wrap this morning with some corn salsa, a little bit of fresh cabbage, and then I had a berry and greens smoothie. Uh, it's from Snowcrest, which is a company in Canada, um, and they're pre-bagged frozen fruits and vegetables that are come, and it's got 10 grams of fiber, six grams of protein. I just add half a cup of coconut water and then a cup and a half of regular water, um, and I blend it all up and it's so super delicious to have with my smoothie. I get my coffee throughout the day because God knows I need coffee. I am a coffee king. I need it. I don't want it. I need it. It literally gives me life. And for dinner tonight, we made a um, flax and poppy seed cabbage slaw. We use a really low-cal poppy seed dressing. We added flax seeds into it, mixed it in with our coleslaw mix. And then we did a whole grain pasta. I'm a huge fan of the 
President's Choice Blue Menu products. And they have a really great Zoo Animals product that you would think would be for kids, but it's great for adults. It's got 12 grams of fiber and 16 grams of protein per serving of dry pasta. It's incredible. It's made with whole grains. And then we used a vegetable bolognese sauce um, uh, with a little bit of corn and some... Uh, it was just incredible. It was so delicious. I loved every bite of it. Uh, we just went to the gym, did our 45, 50 minute workout. We did cardio and we did weights. I focused mostly on my shoulders. It was great. And I had such an incredible time. And now we're just going to relax for the rest of the night, catch up on some TV shows and just have taken the glory of 2018. It's been a really, really exciting day full of a lot of positive changes. Another thing I wanted to mention is, you know, a lot of times in the new year, you want to focus on your finances. And I know for us, that's also a goal too that we want is to get more in tune with our money. And something that I've learned from watching financial gurus all over YouTube and all over TV is that you need to dedicate the time in your week to sit down as a family unit and discuss this, you know, once a week, maybe a 15 or 20 minute conversation. And that way, if you have any quarrels or any things you want to discuss during the week, you save it for that meeting, you write it down. And when you have the meeting, you go over your budget, you go over your finances, you discuss any topics you need to discuss, you adjust things you need to adjust. And that's the time when you discuss, you know, any other things related to the finances anything maybe about your grocery list or what it is you want to eat for the week. You do that and you plan everything out and you take that time to connect on that level. And if everybody's on the same page when it comes to your finances and you guys are all gung ho about the plan you've got, then you're setting yourself up for success. It's really great. So stay positive, my friends. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy life and choose to eat as much healthy food as you can. And my tip for you today is to focus on protein, fiber, fruits, and vegetables and get a lot of it. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow for day two. Bye.